You're watching WUFT TV News. Well, welcome you guys to the Spring 2015 Blooper Reel. I'm Nicole Sveda. I'm Rochelle Aline. I'm Morgan Falcon. And I'm Tony. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> there you have it. He's Tony. We've had an awesome run. Lots of awkward moments, awkward pauses, mic issues, the whole lot. Um, we're definitely going to bring you a lot of interesting moments, but also a lot of fun memories. So let's get started. Pretty sure Tony's the expert on uh, mic issues, right, Tony? And your, your mic's not Tony. Your mic. Your mic. That makes a lot of sense. Are you going to? Yeah, your mic's not on. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. And there you have it. I tend to so do how does that, I mean, how does that go about with, you know, the whole mic and, and weather? I know it's a little different. How does, how does that happen? Does it happen a lot? Not to me, because I'm perfect. Oh. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> let's, sorry. let's roll that footage let's, and just see. Let's make a note. <laughs> roll that beautiful bean footage. No. You're watching W. Horrific attack in Bro Let's go to Tony Sudoku live in the Weather Center. Tony. Sorry. Uh, today will really serve as a reality check across north central Florida for what You have forecaster Ronnie Sokash is joining us from the WRUF Weather Center now. Ronnie, what kind of weather can we expect tonight? A, Ga a Gainesville business is closing after. Okay, now we're going to take well, a look. Well, now what's going to happen? Okay, it's, okay. It's, is, it, is it my read? This is, is me on the script, but it's you on the prompt. Just okay. go. Okay, guys, let's get it together. Like, Come on, guys. Come on. Wait, <laughs> what am I reading? <laughs> There's no, nothing on there. We've had a lot of awkward reads this semester. Take a look at some of our finer moments with awkward reads. Thanks, Peter Gay, and thank you at home for watching for News First at 5. Bye, thank you. Ruani also said ISIS had committed Astro Cities in the name of religion. All this and more tonight at w, at, on WFT News at 6. And thank you at home for watching WUFT News at 6, a production from <laughs> UF's Innovation News Center. We'll see you again tomorrow. And well, to start with, its reputation of the university has a worldwide global reputation of being excellent. Okay, the start, I'm so sorry. The start for a seven-month-old boy is over now in Dade County. This morning, crews found the body of Elijah Wilson in the Wickaloochee River. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office dive team found the body about 100 yards from where a truck he and his uncle were setting, sitting on into, went into the river yesterday. A woman was airlifted to hospital after being bitten by a black bear in Pasco County. Being bitten by a black bear in Pasco County. The 400-pound black, black bear. The 400-pound black bear bit the woman while she was attempting to pet the bear. The bear was in a caged area at Wildlife Haven. Area at Wildlife Haven, a captive wildlife facility in Dade City, Florida. 911 dispatchers received the call about the bite. Ah, uh, that was a. Uh... That was a rough morning. It was a that little was bit rough. of a rough one. We've all had those days. <laughs> and we've definitely had some awkward live shots. We're going to have those coming up for you. But first, we have a special treat. Joining us live in the newsroom is none other than Miss Nicole Acevedo to bring us more on awkward live shots. Nicole? Wait, am I on? Am I? Am I on? No one's cued me. WFT Samantha Tlosa joins us now in the newsroom with a story on the rodeo that's come to town in Ocala. The, the 2015 Ranch Rodeo is kicking off the 75th annual um, Southeastern Youth Fair tonight. Horses and other animals are being brought to the arena right now in preparation. WUFT's Kayla Kowalik joins us from the newsroom with details. Kayla? The Florida Highway Patrol. Welcome in WUFT baseball beat reporter Jonathan Perez. Jonathan, the Gators started their season on a tear but have faltered as of late. What's changed for Kevin O'Sullivan's team? 
Well, George, that's right, the Fusty Ole Miss Rebels. We have our WFT sports reporter Kyle Logan at the Odom for the game. Kyle, with Michael Frazier out for tonight's game, who will the Gators rely on for the matchup? Well, Jonathan, the Gators will have... And Jonathan, this will be the Gators' third SEC series on the season. What can we expect from the Tide tonight? I'm Chris Andrian. The number one ranked Gators softball team is back in action tonight. The Gators will welcome the Knights of UCF in the Katie Seashell Presley Stadium. And right now, WUFT's softball beat reporter Nico Tan joins us live from Presley Stadium. Nico, I know there are a lot of talented players on the roster, but who is the hottest player at the point in this season? Uh, thank you, Nico. It certainly has not come as a shock anymore that the Florida Gators men's basketball team has struggled all Well, anything can happen on air. So when you're sitting here and you have to get onto a chat, it's, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So let's, let's turn to Morgan. Where, where's Morgan? Hey, guys. And there she <laughs> is. She made it. Am I in camera? You are, yes. Yeah. Yes, that happened. I love your necklace. It looks really cute. Thank you. Where'd you get it? I got it forever 21. Oh, my God. Oh, where did you get your shoes? Okay. Okay. We're matching. Oh my gosh, we're both wearing black. We have to take a picture. We have to take a picture. No, okay, okay we, have take, we have to take a selfie. Let's, Let's take a go. selfie. Wait, wait, selfie, selfie. Okay, okay. Ready? 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 Mm, duck lips. Yay, oh, it's cute. Perfect. Send that to me. I will. Facebook it. Uh, oh, well, wait, are we supposed to be te teasing, tossing to something? They, they didn't, did you, do you have did they call for cut? Wait, wait. They didn't call for cut? Wait, sports is. No, no, sports is. Sports is not next, but more awkward chats are. WUFT Samantha Sosa joins us now to tell us about what to expect for our summer gas prices. Oh, what to expect for batteries? For batteries? Well, Deanne, at Stanford University, we Emily Braun joins us now in the newsroom. Emily? Well, today I have an update. In addition to staying and finishing up with his degree, this also gives him a chance to recuperate and get much better draft stock for 2016. Sure, sure. Great. Well, we hope he's better just in time for next season. Oh, yeah. And we'll have one last look at the weather for... And Sarah Molly, in the latest news, President Obama has vetoed the proposal for the Keystone XL pipeline. But I heard President Obama was already planning on vetoing it before the Senate passed it. That's true. But I also heard that <laughs> President Obama's administration was not necessarily against the Keystone pipeline, but they just wanted to protect their own rights as the administration. But thank you, Jose. Better off just getting the vaccine than not. All right. Thank you, thank Emily. You. And so after so, well, there's been a bunch of mistakes on air, but what about the ones behind the scenes? A little and this is weird. Like this, sometimes you know you can't control what's happening. On air, a lot of things happen behind the scenes like this. That's I don't right. know what's happening. As much as we try to control the situation on air, of course, there's a whole team of people in the background doing their thing. And sometimes tensions get a little high back there. Stress, you know, making calls and things like that. It's, it's all a mess. So here are some examples of production mistakes that have actually probably looked really hilarious on TV. We're down here. No, no, up. Uh, no. Hey! No. <laughs> About that time, it was just big explosion and the ambulance was start. Welcome back. The February jobs report showed the strongest surge of hiring in the U.S. in 17 years. 209 older people of all skill levels. Some are learning how to sign up for a Facebook, while others are just learning to use a mouse. No matter their skill level, the Alachua County Library staff... He could face homicide charges. Thank you, Jonathan. Preparations are underway in the northeast as a potentially record-breaking blizzard moves closer to the area. Forecasters say the blizzard could bring three feet of snow. I'm Jonathan Perez. The LPGA Tour is hosting its first tournament of the year, and it's right here in our backyard. The Coach Golf Championship teed off at the Golden Ocala Golf Club yesterday morning and will continue through Saturday. They're still in the second round, but let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Third. And now it's that time of week. Orly and the top ranked Gators shut out number 13, Arizona 10 to nothing. Gorley allowed just three hits in the game, which is coming up. The Islamic State is driven out of a city in Iraq. We'll tell you where and why some say officials shouldn't consider this a victory. And reactions to the lack of funding for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Physical threat. To 
Two teens accused of a two-week crime spree before being caught in Florida will soon be transferred home to Kentucky. According to 18-year-old Dalton Haynes, the trip didn't go as planned. Dalton says he and WFT News at 6 is just getting started. Coming up, a man who admitted to fatally shooting someone in North Carolina on Monday was found on a Florida beach. More about him after the break. Plus, the CDC is working on a vaccine to fight Ebola, and it's being tested on humans now. Those stories and more coming up after the break. We'll be right back. Surveillance footage shows a fight between the bouncer and a bar customer who poured gas in the bouncer's face and lit a match. Investigators say the bouncer was trying to remove the man from the bar because he couldn't pay his tab. And on behalf of all of the seniors, because we know we're not the only ones, we just all want to say that you guys have made for an awesome four years here. And maybe next semester, don't do some of those bloopers that you just saw. That's right. Thanks to everyone. We've had so much fun here. Hope it can continue on for everyone else still sticking around and just enjoy all the time. And Hey, Tony. <laughs> Tony. Hey. Beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Well, of course, now we have... The, the last piece Tony. of the puzzle for the seniors here. <laughs> I just want to wish you guys a wonderful summer, whether you're staying here in Gainesville, interning somewhere, getting a job. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep producing great news. Um, and we just wish you all the best. Thank you so much for a great players. And we love you guys. WUFT has been the home for many of us. We're all in Weimar Hall all the time. We're going to miss seeing your faces every day. We love you. Good luck. Go Gators! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys! Bye. Yay!